Hello, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hubbard. I practice optometry independently inside of an America's Vest in Bradenton, Florida. We see quite the variety of different patients. And, you know, initially when I started working, one of the things I really wanted to get from this job was to gain confidence. And I think, you know, when you see a variety of patients like that, you really are able to gain confidence, whether it's disease management or whether it's just doing a refraction or just growing as a professional. One of the cases that I wanted to share with you was actually a learning experience for me because it was something that I had never seen before in the clinic setting. So I had this 40-year-old lady that came in. She was still experiencing some difficulty seeing both at distance and up close with her glasses. She wasn't taking any medication, you know, she didn't have any systemic diseases, but, you know, she was still having this trouble seeing a little bit, you know, far away and up close. So I did perform the refraction and things were a little bit shaky. I couldn't quite get her down to 2020 in the right eye, was only able to get her down to 2040, and in the left eye got her about to 2025. So that was already kind of showing some red flags there that something was going on. Looked at the slit lamp, everything anterior, everything was really clear from the cornea to the lens. I didn't see anything going on. So I proceeded with the dilation. It um, was revealed that she had some pretty significant atrophy in the macula and perimacula area. But the only thing I didn't understand was why she was experiencing this atrophy in the macula. So I referred her to a retinologist and turns out she was actually on a drug over 15 years ago called Elmiron. The medication is actually for bladder conditions, but come to find out has you know significant changes in the retina that we are just now recently finding out about. After I heard about this, you know, I did my own research to figure out what was going on, and it's just about since about 2018 that things have you know come to surface that this drug for bladder conditions is having impacts on the eyes and vision. In my opinion, working in this setting is the definition of primary care. Most people come here expecting to just get glasses and contacts. I think that that is what their issue is, when a lot of times they end up having some sort of underlying condition or something that just glasses and contacts alone can't fix. So thank you for listening. I hope you learned something and were able to see why I enjoy practicing in this setting.